Now, welcome back, guys, on another episode on 86. Now, towards the end of the previous episode, things did not go as Lena planned it to go because one of the soldiers in the other district died in battle, and the other woman was very, very frustrated and mad, and actually she diverted that anger towards Lena. And I'm not sure how Lena's relationship with the people in the other district is going to be from here on out. So without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. It literally continued on where we left off on the previous episode. So Kai is the one that died. Kinda looks like little mini Kurama right there. So Theo was the one talking to Lena towards the end of the previous episode.
That I believe that gadget or whatever he's holding belongs to Kurishuchi. The one that died, right? Real name. Yeah, Lena is not, uh, she feels bad for what happened. And I believe this is the moment where she's definitely going to choose where does she want to base her interest in. Because Theo was very blunt with what he said to her. In every way, in what way? Come on. Mm. So she's got. So she's going to continue, she's going to continue her role. She's not giving up on them. So she did go there when she was little, but it's a flashback, some type of uh, in District 86.
So he did that to show his daughter So the uncle wants the he wants the the daughter of um, his brother to be the uncle wants her to become like them and not give room for feelings towards the people at the age six district. forced us to fight. Hmm. Synchronized. Yeah, she's traumatized too from that situation. Really? And she's really, she's really trying to get to know their names and you know get to know them a little better. And she has this AI gadget behind her neck. I wonder what that is all about. She got all their names.
for five years. Five hundred and sixty one, including Ka Oh, man. That's a lot of people thus far. <laughs> right now? <laughs> Interesting. I believe that she actually has room to help them out. Like, if they allow her to do her job, I think her emotions and her dedications towards them <laughs> will actually help this situation or their situation at 86th District. If they allow her to you know work with her and them work with her i believe she actually can help because she at, at this time and i gotta say that she's the only one who cares about their well-being at this point you know she's the only one that cares about them and i believe her heart is in the good place she doesn't want to just ignore them and especially because of what happened happening in front of her not really in front of her, but she saw what happened. She knows what happened. And for the fact that she forgot to ask their names. And at this point, she's trying to make amends. I believe that she will definitely some way, somehow help them out in the end. Because out of the people on the other side, she's the only one that cares about, about their well-being. That's, that's the difference. Oh, she is a girl. You know, it's hard to say based on her. You know, it's hard to confirm based on her um, appearance sometimes.
<laughs> She's not giving up anytime soon. Especially now she knows their names. Corinna. <laughs> yeah, Corinna is not too fond of her because you know, she's having too much conversation with Shin. He's my brother. <laughs> the next episode, I am with you. So let me, in the end, Le uh, Lena asked Shin, do you know someone named Shuroi Nozin? After Shin said his last name, and Lena asked him, do you know someone no do you know someone named Shuroi Nuzin? His personal name was Dulahan, and his mark was a needless knight. Sorry, and his mark was a headless knight. Okay, and Shin stops and visualizes this character. right let's see here it's really hold on let me see if i can be able to yeah you know we didn't really get to see the face of this character properly he's my brother okay now i'm not sure if um if this uh Shuri is still alive or not but uh for the fact that lena knows who he is that means i believe that he could be alive and if he's alive what is shin's brother doing on the other side right what is he doing on the other side because lena didn't know up until now that shin said his last name and um it's going to be interesting but i really believe that there is more to this story that meets the eye uh thus far all we're getting is dialogue 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 and more dialogue you know there's nothing you know i'm again the dialogue is not too bad because now the story is, is slowly being uncovered like we're getting to know more and more and more and more about the show there isn't any fighting going on that much but i think towards the i think and i believe towards the end we will get uh, some serious moments and everything. I hope that that is the case with this show. There's, it's starting off slow, and in the middle of it, it's going to uh, things are going to start getting interesting, you know. Because I gotta say, from episode one all the way to this current episode, it's all dialogue stuff. All right. Now let me know what you guys think about the episode. And on that note, continue to stay safe, stay classy, and keep on keeping on.